This mass is offered for the soul of Alfred de Souza, being his month's mind mass. And we also pray for all the, for all the other box intention masses. Let us now welcome the celebrant by singing hymn number 404. This is the day. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Good evening, dear brothers and sisters. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Together we say, I confess, I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what, in what I, have I have done and in what, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Cornelius, Pope and Cyprian Bishop Martyrs. Let us pray. O God, who gave saints Cornelius and Cyprian to your people as diligent shepherds and valiant martyrs, grant that through the intercession we may be strengthened in faith and constancy and spend ourselves without reserve for the unity of the Church. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Be ambitious for the higher gifts, and I am going to show you a way that is better than any of them. If I have all the eloquence of men or of angels, but speak without love, I am simply a gong, booming or a cymbal clashing. If I have the gift of prophecy, understanding all the mysteries there are, and knowing everything, and if I have faith in all its fullness to move mountains but without love, then I am nothing at all. If I give away all that I possess, piece by piece, and if I even let them take my body to burn it, but I am without love, it will do me no good whatever. Love is always patient and kind. It is never jealous. Love is never boastful or conceited. It is never rude or selfish. It does not take offense and is not resentful. Love takes no pleasure in other people's sins but delights in the truth. It is always ready to excuse, to trust, to hope and to endure whatever comes. Love does not come to an end. But if there are gifts of prophecy, the time will come when they must fail, or the gift of languages, it will not continue forever, and knowledge, 
For this too, the time will come when it must fail. For our knowledge is imperfect and our prophecy is imperfect. But once perfection comes, all imperfect things will disappear. When I was a child, I used to talk like a child and think like a child and argue like a child. But now I am a man. All childish ways are put behind me. Now we are seeing a dim reflection in a mirror. But then we shall be seeing face to face. The knowledge that I have now is imperfect. But then I shall know as fully as I am known. In short, there are three things that last. Faith, hope and love. And the greatest of these is love. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response to the psalm will be, Happy the people whom the Lord has chosen as his own. Kindly listen to the tune. Happy the people whom the Lord has chosen as his own. Together. Happy the people whom the Lord has chosen as his own. Give thanks to the Lord upon the harp. With a ten-string lute sing him songs. O oh, sing him a song that is new. Play loudly with all your skill. Our response. Happy the people whom the Lord has chosen as his own. For the word of the Lord is faithful and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right and fills the earth with his love. Our response, happy the people whom the Lord has chosen as his own. Kindly rise for the gospel. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Accept God's message for what it really is. God's message and not some human thinking. Together. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the people, What description can I find for the men of this generation? What are they like? They are like children shouting to one another while they sit in the marketplace. We played the pipes for you and you wouldn't dance. We sang dirges and you wouldn't cry. For John the Baptist comes not eating bread, not drinking wine, and you say, he is possessed. The Son of Man comes eating and drinking, and you say, look, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Yet wisdom has been proved right by all her children. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Two points, my dear brothers and sisters, I would like to highlight in today's reflection. The first point comes in the first reading of today, which St. Paul speaks about love. And this reading, my dear brothers and sisters, is very dear to all, especially those who are getting married. We may not know in which book 
this particular reading comes or which chapter but with, but we know that there is a quotation there is a chapter in the bible which speaks about love and almost every wedding couple would like to have this reading as part of their wedding liturgy love love is also one of the highlights of paul in his first letter to the corinthians he speaks about people having gifts doing charity self sacrifice having strong faith but if the aspect of love is missing then all these are in vain everything all these may cease people may stop doing all these things they may stop doing charity stop self sacrifice faith will become less but love it is which will endure even jesus speaks about love my dear brothers and sisters jesus says gives the definition of love as no one has greater love than to lay down his life for his friend love goes beyond just the words i love you and that is what saint paul speaks in the first reading of today in the gospel of today which comes to my second point recognizing the goodness in others jesus speaks about this and he gives to exam to example that the people failed to recognize the goodness in john the baptist who lived an austere life life that of a hermit and also many failed to recognize the goodness in jesus jesus who mixed around speaking with everyone and he uses this my dear brothers and sisters giving the parable of children nowadays children being in quarantine we are uh, children are used to playing video games otherwise uh, they would play badminton basketball cricket football and so on but at that time jesus time the children over there would play the games of uh, acting out acting out a funeral acting out a wedding and each child was given their role that they had to do but there were some children who wanted that particular role and if they did not get that role that they wanted or they were expecting they would get angry and go aside and sit down aside on the footpath looking at the, the others play looking at the others enjoying the game that is being played we are so invited my dear brothers and sisters that we recognize the goodness goodness in ourselves goodness in others and to do this we have to love love god and love one another Blessed are you Lord God of all creation for your goodness receive the bread we offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life blessed be god forever Blessed are you Lord God of all creation for your goodness we receive the wine we offer you fruit of the wine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink blessed be god forever Pray brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the almighty father 
May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive we pray O Lord the offerings of your people in honor of the passion of the holy martyrs saints Cornelius and Cyprian and may the gifts that they gave that gave them courage under persecution make us to steadfast in all trials through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ our Lord, for us on the festival of saints, Cornelius and Cyprian, you bid your church rejoice. So to you strengthen her by the example of their holy lives. Teach her by the words of their preaching and keep her safe and answer to their prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, to found of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, a bread of life and a chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, a church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and also Gracious, our Bishop, all his auxiliaries, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints that please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, I may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We also pray for all those who celebrate their birthdays and their anniversaries today. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us today our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all and with your spirit. Let us offer each other a happy sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is Jesus invites us to love and recognize the goodness in one another. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called at a supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us prepare our hearts to receive Jesus spiritually as we make this act of spiritual communion our very own. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. For the communion hymn, we shall take hymn number 403. This is my will. This is my will, my one command. That love should dwell among you all. This is my will that you should love as I have shown that I love you. No greater love a man can have than that he die to save his friends you are my friends if you obey what i command that you should do i call you now no longer slaves no slave knows all his master does I call you friends for all I hear. My father say you hear from me. Let us pray. 
Through these mysteries which we have received, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that by the example of the martyrs, saints Cornelius and Cyprian, we may be strengthened with the fortitude of, our spi of your spirit to bear witness to the truth of the gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray for protection against coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, Hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for a quick control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We pray for the doctors doing research that an effective vaccine to combat the sickness is speedily found. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear parishioners, we welcome into our parish community these newly baptized infants. Their names are as follows. Alanis de Souza, Jeremy de Souza, Kiara Carvalho, and Matthew Antonio dies and we also congratulate all their parents on this happy occasion the parents of Alanis Kirk and Jumara the parents of Jeremy Josel and Michelle the parents of Kiara Carvalho Gary and Ruthia the parents of Matteo Antonio dies Rohan and Tatiana The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. For the recessional, we shall take hymn number 406. This world you have made. This world you have made is a beautiful place. It tells the power of your love. We rejoice in the beauty of your world from the seas to the heavens above. The morning whispers of purity, the evening of your peace. The thunder booms your exuberance in the awesome power you release this world you have made is a beautiful place it tells the power of your love we rejoice in the beauty of your world from the seas to the heavens above have a blessed evening dear parishioners and god bless